Tutorials are not bad. In fact, they give you direction as a beginner. But when you stick to them so much that you don't do anything on your own, it becomes a problem. And honestly, it's not your fault. When you are just starting out, you need someone to guide you. By the end of this video, you will drop tutorials and start building real projects that you are going to be proud of. The very first step towards breaking free from the shackles of tutorial hell is identifying the problem. What exactly do you think your issue is? Do you struggle with coming up with project ideas? Do you have problems starting the project? Or do you find it difficult solving problems that arise in the project? This is a critical step and before you move to the next step, it's important for you to pick your problem. Now that you have picked your problem, we're going to move into solution for each of these problems. If you are looking for project ideas, here are 20 project ideas ranging from beginner to intermediate that you can work on no matter your tech stack. You can approach these topics from a place of interest. If you have interest in interiors, building a project within this niche is going to make you excited and of course feel responsible for something. If cooking is for you, building a cooking game might make you more resilient and of course keep up to the end. It's also important to pick within your level of expertise. If you are an absolute beginner, please do not touch intermediate level projects. The next problem we are going to be solving is difficulty starting the project. To start a coding project as a beginner without much confidence is overwhelming but I'll tell you exactly what to do. Start by planning your project. If you are building a restaurant website for example, what are the features that you want to have in the project? Is it going to be a single page project or is it going to have multiple pages? Is it going to be a front end project? Is it just everything that you need to know before building the project, more like you should visualize the project so that you can now break it down. I recommend you get a book for your project so you can generously draw your ideas. So the flow is from writing down an idea to the features and functions you want in that particular project. Then if you are working as a front-end developer, you might want to consider the UI. How should this project look? You can draw your wireframes, getting inspiration from sites like Ehance, Dribbble, Nicebeach, and so on. Or you can go for an alternative method of generating designs using UIZ if your design sucks just like mine. Now that you have picked the UI of your project, you are going to select a tech stack. What are you going to be building this project to? Are you going to be combining Tailwind and JS, Python and CSS? Hashcode and CS, whichever combination you are going with, this is the point where you pick your stack. Now that you have done this, the next thing is for you to take a big dose of confidence because you need it definitely. Now that you have planned your project, the next thing for you is to open your code editor and write your first line of code. Something motivational, maybe, you know, needs to be pumped up for this project. You are going to pick a feature from those features you wrote down for this project and start working on it. Don't even bother about getting it right. You can do trial and error. Nobody is going to bite you, you know. If you're a front-end developer, you can start by building the user interface to help you see your progress before implementing functionality. It also gives you a sense of accomplishment. Now, you have to keep Building. Don't stop because you are encountering issues. What you have to do is stick to the end of this video so that you know how to solve problems that arise within the project. Instead of bouncing to tutorials to fix them, we are going to be trying alternative measures. The very first thing I'm going to talk about is Googling everything. Google any single thing you encounter. For any issue you encounter, type it into Google and search. There are way more resources than you can imagine. And of course, you are not the first person that is facing this issue. There must be a solution out there. There are some specific tips you can use for Google. You can use the quotation mark, you can use the and, 
or you can use the site semicolon or the colon then the site that you want to narrow your search to all these tips are going to help you search more effectively on google the next thing is for you to check specific websites like stack overflow there are solutions that are provided on Stack Overflow that might not directly fit the context of your project, but they are going to give you ideas on how to solve your own problems. Please do not overlook them. There are other ones such as Free Code Camp, W3 Code, and much more. The next thing I'm going to talk about is for you not to ignore your debugging tools, your console.log, your Chrome Dev Tools and the rest of them. There are also AI tools that are made available today that you can use to fix your errors without bouncing back to tutorials. The next thing I'm going to talk about is reading documentation. I talked about my issue with Tailwind CSS in my last video, how I fixed an issue that took me hours and hours, just a few minutes on documentation. Do not try to understand everything in documentation. Focus on enough to just help you finish your project. And if you're still very loyal, you can check YouTube tutorials as well, but now in a different way. Instead of searching how to build a website from scratch, going for more specific search terms like how to clear error in loop can be more direct and problem solving. And of course, less time consuming. Another thing for you to note is that as you are implementing the strategies and getting solutions to issues, do not forget to write them down so that when these issues come up again, you can just look inside your notebook and grab the solution. There is no need for you to memorize code. Also, you can create an account on Dev2 where you can write about the issues you face and the solutions and also help other people that might face those issues someone wrote those ones already you know <laughs> and for every project you complete please do not keep it to yourself share it to the world let everyone see your work go on linkedin go on twitter every single platform you can lay your hands on that is developer for course please share your project you are going to widen your reach and of course you're going to connect with people that are interested in your journey by now you must have picked a project idea and you know what to do you have to start coding and you have to solve problems from googling reading documentation and watching specific youtube videos and finally always showcase anything you learn and every project you do so that we can celebrate you and of course the knowledge is going to solidify all the more when you stop relying on tutorials and start using every project you build every bug you fix makes you a new developer it's not about perfection these strategies are from my experience and I stand to be corrected as always. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment and share with your friends. I'm a quantum developer and a technical writer. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you in another video. Bye.